The 300-400 cc cruiser motorcycle segment has been predominantly ruled over by Royal Enfield. Recently, Java Motorcycles was brought back from the dead and has been posing a little bit of a threat to Royal Enfield. However, the kings are still the Enfields. But now, the Japanese think that they can charge a premium over the current range of motorcycles that we've got available in our country and guarantee the customer a level of refinement and precision engineering that has never been seen before in this segment. This is the CB350. But has Honda chosen the right path? In between, Benelli tried their utmost best in getting a more premium version of the same concept Royal Enfield and Java have incorporated, but failed miserably in the process. The Imperiale 400 was a disaster for Benelli. Where it was supposed to increase sales and interest in the brand, it did the complete opposite with the lack of any good deals and after-sale support. But Honda knew that us Indians don't like paying premium money for a premium bike. We like to keep our money in our pockets, you see. So that's why Honda could not come with an expensive bike. So with the Benelli cost approximately 2.27 lakhs X showroom, the CB350 cost 1.85 lakhs X showroom, only a few thousand more than the latest Royal Enfield Meteor. Honda has understood that many people have gotten enlightened by the fact that Royal Enfield hasn't been the best in terms of technology and Java hasn't been the best when it comes to refinement and after sales. And this is where Honda wants to hit those brands, where it hurts because as we all know, Honda pioneers in this. The CB350 comes with Bluetooth connectivity which gives you turn-by-turn -turn navigation, it reads your text messages and it also indicates when you uh, get a phone call. Royal Enfield has only paid attention to this recently with the Meteor 350 which gives you a Google OS based second screen which gives you all these features too. But Honda has one up Royal Enfield by giving voice control. You can connect your smartphone via the HSBC app. You can operate the system to access phone calls, text messages and navigation. And you can make the system read out messages or attend phone calls with aftermarket speakers in your helmet. You also get a USB charging port for your smartphone but you will need a phone holder to make it of any use. And most importantly, if you want all of this tech wizardry, you will need to buy the DLX Pro variant which is 5000 rupees more than the standard DLX model. The only place where Honda is a little bit iffy is the after sales part. The CB350 is only available at Honda Bigwing and Bigwing top line dealers which are not as well distributed as Java and of course Royal Enfield. However, enough blabbering around, let's see how this thing rides. The CB350 quite literally puts every other budget cruiser to shame when it comes to riding. The sheer refinement that the bike exudes is unparalleled and shows the engineering precision that has gone into it. The CB350 produces a satisfying 21 bhp and 30 newton meters of torque. Compared to the Java, it does make 6 bhp less but makes 2 newton meters of torque more and quite literally outclasses any comparable Royal Enfield. The Honda CB350 weighs in at 181 kgs but honestly, the bike feels super light while riding. The suspension isn't anything too special, a front telescopic fork and a twin hydraulic setup at the rear. But it gets the job done and gives you a super comfy ride. And with this beautiful toffee brown seat underneath your buttocks, it quite literally feels like you're riding on a cloud. Once you're done with your ride, you can stand back and admire Her Highness. The touches of, of chrome alongside with the gunmetal grey and the matte black make the bike look ever so elegant. And it's just that the long wheelbase is not that long. It looks like a long bike but it's really not. The brown leather on the seat makes the bike look so classy. And also the seating position is super comfy. You get a stylish round LED headlight up front which is shared with multiple other Honda Bigwing models like the CB300R, 
and the soon to come rebel series of bikes the back end is literally copied from a triumph bonneville so 10 points for looks 0 points for originality All in all the CB350 is a big contender to be pit up against the Royal Enfield. It's a much better, more refined and I think a little bit nicer to ride. However, the little downside is the after sales and the availability and the distributors. Big Wing Honda should do something about it. However, we're going to see it in the future. Otherwise, if you need a no hassle bike and you don't want to have some trouble if you crash it I think you should go for a Royal Enfield. Do you do let us know what do you think about the new CB350 and let us know if you would prefer it over a new Royal Enfield. This is your boy Bhavneet. See you in the next one.